welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, also known as Certified Winner, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be using these magic spiral hair curlers from Wish on my new short hair. So just in case for those of you who haven't seen my previous video, I used these magic spiral hair curlers from Wish on my really, really long hair back in the day, but I recently cut it nice and short and I wanted to see if these spiral hair curlers still worked on short hair. And they do. So I got these off of Wish for $30 Canadian after shipping and it came with a whole bag of hair curlers. So this bag comes with 30 or 40 curlers and I'm gonna tell you right now, I actually use all of those curlers mainly because this look works best when you have very, very small sections. It also works best when you have damp, almost dry hair instead of completely sopping wet hair or even like closer to wet, damp hair because these are not sleep in curlers. I learned that the hard way the first time I tried to use these curlers, but these curlers are hard and having them all over your head when you're trying to sleep is an absolute disaster. I would not recommend it. So my personal recommendation is to either use it before you go to bed, like two or three hours before you go to bed, put them in, take them out right before you're about to go to sleep and then kind of let the curls relax as you're sleeping so that the next day they look the best that they can look. But if you really, really like that tight curl look, I would recommend doing it in the morning and then as you're getting ready, so having your coffee, eating breakfast, doing your makeup, all of that stuff, that should take about an hour to an hour and a half, letting the hair dry and then pulling out the curlers for a really nice tight curl. So enough with all of that, let's get right into the video. You guys are going to see how I use these magic spiral hair curlers on my short hair to achieve this curly hair look. All right, so as you guys can see, I've washed my hair and I've let it air dry a good bit. So now it's just slightly damp. The next thing I really like to do is put in all of the lotions and potions in my hair that I usually put in before I blow dry it or even when I let it air dry. So the first thing I'm going to put in is the Garnier Fructis buttercream. It's basically a leave-in treatment. So unlike regular leave-in conditioners, you don't actually have to wash this one out after. You literally just leave it in your hair. So I just take about this much and I'm just going to run it through starting at the ends and kind of making it all the way up to the top. Usually I'll even flip my head over, get all the tips, and then brush it through. It doesn't make your hair feel oily or anything, so I wouldn't be afraid to get it close to the roots. Great, so now that that's in my hair, I'm going to go on to the next part, which is the BioSilk Silk Therapy Bottle. I got it at Winners for only like $19.99, which is a really good deal because I remember when I bought it at like a Sally's Beauty Supply, it was like $40. So you can literally get it for half price, the big bottle for only $20, which is great. This one can possibly leave your hair feeling oily, so I literally just take a really small amount and this one only goes at your tips all right so now that that's thoroughly in my hair last oil i put some castor oil in my hair so this one is even less than the previous one you just take the tiniest amount like literally that's it a few drops and the other one went mid shaft to tip. This one is literally just the tips because it will make your hair feel really, really oily. All right, so now that we are done with all the pre-treatments, it's time to get into these magic spiral curlers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is section off your head. I'm going to be starting at the bottom and slowly working my way to the top. So I'm just gonna take ear to ear and just clip it out of the way. Now with the bottom sections, this orange one curls away from my face. So that's the first one I'm going to put down. But with short hair, I kind of want a lot more volume and a lot more dimension. So I'm actually going to alternate the direction of the spiral. So it's going to go away from my face and then towards, away, towards, following that general pattern. So the ends of the magic spiral curlers open up just like this and you're gonna wanna thread the stick all the way through to the other side. So it should take the entire stick. Next, you're gonna to wanna to just take a small section of hair, I would say about the size of one or two drinking straws and twirl it away from your face. The reason I twirl the hair first is because then you're not gonna catch a bunch of flyaways when you try to hook the hair into the little hook on the end. So you're just gonna hook the hair in, holding the end, slide the curler up, and then pull the stick out taking your hair with it and then I've just kind of like 
to curl it back up just like that but you can also just pull the stick all the way through so again I'm just gonna take a small section twirl it away from my face hold onto the section clip it on push the curler up and pull the hair through again alternating curlers now I've got a pink one go all the way through grab a small section of hair twist it hook it on slide the curler up and pull the hair through so now let's do the other side Okay, so now that I have both sides done, I'm just gonna let down another section of my hair. The ideal is to go in thin layers. So I'm just gonna take one from the tips of my eyebrows all the way down, clip it back, and do the process all over again. I usually like to do about four layers just because my hair isn't that thick, but at the same time, I'm trying to get as thin of layers as I possibly can to allow them to air dry as fast as they can. So because I don't want all of the curls in the front to kind of mesh together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate the pattern. So originally I started with pink on this side, so now I'm going to start with orange. So then that way the orange one is going to lay on top of a pink one, which is going to be beside another orange one. And then on top of that orange one is going to be a pink one. So that way all the curls that are surrounding a single curl are going in opposite directions and they won't be able to kind of merge together to create one big super curl. So it's the exact same process. I just put the curl R on. I'm going to take a small section about the width of two drinking straws, twirling it away from my face, hooking the hair on, pulling the curler up, and then pulling the hair through. Okay, so same with this side, because I started with an orange, this time I'm starting with a pink. Just popping the curler on, taking a small section of hair, twisting it away from my face, hooking it on, pulling the curler up, and pulling the hair through. Perfect. So this is going to take a little while to put in, so I think we should just skip ahead to me having all of the curlers in because it's pretty much the exact same process all the way through. Okay, so I have all of the curlers in now and I know I look a little crazy, but I promise you it's going to look so nice at the end. So because I put it in when my hair was damp, it should realistically only take about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to two hours tops to dry off. So this is the time where I usually do my makeup, I have my coffee in the morning, um, I'll choose my outfit, stuff like that. So let's get ready and I will see you guys back here for me in two hours for you in a few seconds. Awesome, so I've now gotten ready and so it's been about an hour and a half since I've let my hair sit in these curlers So I think it's finally time to take them out just to make sure so I don't take out all of them and have them Basically end up not being dry. I just like to test a little spot So I take a spot where I remember the hair was decently wet Usually it's wetter towards the bottom than it is on top just because as I'm working my way up to the top The hair on top does kind of start to dry a little so let's take a curler out and see how dry my hair has gotten So as you can see the curl is dry and it is very very tight So I am just going to take off the rest of my curlers Fast forward through this part so you guys don't have to sit through it and I'll show you the final result. So as I'm taking out the curlers, I'm just recurling and reshaping the curl. So just pulling my finger through it and making sure I twirl them back the right way. Okay, so with all of the curlers out, this is what my hair looks like. The curls are still super, super tight, and that's not my personal style. So what I actually like to do, because some of the sections that I took were a little big, I'll just kind of go in, take it, and kind of just split the curl, and kind of recurl it around. That way I can get a little bit more definition and individual curl. So for example, this one is a little too thick for me, so I'm just going to take it, 
pull it apart and kind of recurl it around my finger. That way now I have two ringlets instead of one super ringlet. Another thing is because it is so tight, I like to kind of go in with a beach spray. You can also use regular water, but I personally like to use this little butter because it helps hold the curl. But this will actually help loosen the curls out a little bit. Because I have naturally straight hair, when it touches water, it'll try to go back to its original state. So by just gently misting it or even wetting your hands and running your fingers through your hair, you'll be able to loosen out any curls that are much too tight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And over the next little bit, the curls should start to flatten out a little bit. Another thing is I like to run my fingers through the roots to kind of remove any harsh lines that may have been left there from kind of having it in those curlers. Don't fully run your fingers through your hair because that's gonna break apart a lot of the curls and just end up making your hair kind of really frizzy. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and learned a little something along the way, whether it have been how to actually use these hair curlers, whether or not these curlers work on short hair, or if these curlers are worth buying off of Wish, which by the way, I absolutely think they are completely worth your dollar. With all of that said, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below letting me know what you wanna see next. I produce videos every single Wednesday, so I'll see you guys then. Bye.